We'll have a look at the weekly revision tasks in this video. Now just in case you haven't seen these questions or the worksheets before, we'll have a look at them to begin with. So we'll go up here and we'll switch to student view to do that. So you can see here we've got the tab for the weekly revision tasks. Now they're available from first grade through to sixth grade. So we need to choose a grade level first. We might have a look at third grade. Then we click on the weekly revision tasks tab. And you can see here they're broken up into two semesters and there's 16 worksheets in each semester. Most people tend to kick these off around about the second or third week of a semester. Now we'll have a look at semester one, and we might have a look at this worksheet here. So you can see we've got access to the online questions here, as well as this PDF worksheet. We might have a look at the worksheet firstly, and we'll go over here and we'll open that PDF in a new window. It's a little bit easier to look at this way. Now these worksheets are a pretty simple process really. If we have a look through this one, You'll see there's two pages of questions to every sheet. And they cover a big mix of questions coming from every strand and every topic across the curriculum. So your kids are getting a really good set of mixed review questions every week. Now some people are choosing to print these off and get their kids to work on the worksheets. I really recommend that if you're able to do that. The very least though, make sure your kids are working on paper or in their workbook for these. Now we'll switch back to the questions. And this is for the kids here. All they've got to do is enter the answers from their worksheet online here. So let's see the missing numbers down here, 26, 27. And then as we finish each question, just submit your response. Now we might go back up here. We'll switch back to parent view. And I'll show you how easy it is to set these revision sheets as a regular ongoing task for your kids. So we might set one for Xavier here. We'll go over here, click on view profile. And then we've got this option up here to add a weekly revision set. Now we've got two options to choose from at this stage. We can either set the task for the remaining weeks in the school year, or we can set tasks for the entire school year. Now at this stage, we're part of the way through the year, so we might just leave that first box checked, just leaving them run for the rest of the year. If we have a look down here though, you'll see that this box here, it's automatically ticked, and I'd recommend that you leave that that way. This one's fantastic, you'll love this. This allows you to get a task report automatically emailed to you when each of these revision sheets is due. Now that means you don't have to worry about remembering due dates and chasing up the work. Straight away in your inbox, a detailed report showing exactly how they've gone with each sheet. Now this next one down here, hide year level from student. You can choose whether you tick that one or not. I find it's particularly useful if you've got maybe a student who's struggling a bit with their work and you've decided you're going to give them some revision sheets from a lower grade level, but you don't want them to become too discouraged. We'll leave that unchecked though for the moment for Xavier. And then just remember at the end, save weekly revision set. And if we have a look over here at the latest tasks, click on the upcoming tasks tab. Here it is, Xavier's revision sheets, already set up, ready for him to go. Now we'll have a look at how we can access reports as well. Might go over here and we'll have a look at Jess. She's been working on these for a while. So we'll click on View Profile, and then we'll have a look at this Weekly Revision tab here. Now Jess started working on these in the second semester. We can see there she's done seven sheets so far. If we look down the right, these marks here, that's a mark for each individual sheet. And it's all pretty simply colour-coded for you. Blue means she gets a question right, red means she got a question wrong. Now but there's a feature here that I'm pretty sure you're going to love. If we hold the cursor over any question, you can see we can get a quick view of a question. Now that's really useful when you're trying to work out where your kids are going wrong or if they're having difficulties in any topic. Say for example over here, this question, we can see she got a fractions question wrong. Now directly above that we've got another question 11. She got it wrong and it's another fractions question. And then above that again, a third fraction question that she got wrong. Now this lets us know that maybe Jess needs to go back in and do a little bit more work on her fractions. So all in all, I think you'll find these weekly revision tasks really simple to use and a fantastic tool to help your kids out. So I recommend you get in there, use that simple process to set this as a task for your kids and get them working on these straight away.